Hi, this is Peter Conroy from AmateurGolf.com. I'm here at the Stevenson Ranch Golf Club, which has been the site of our biggest California event, the California Mid-Amateur. And we're proud to announce it's now the home course of AmateurGolf.com. To learn a little bit more about the course, I'm going to send you now to General Manager Lad Bruner. And stay tuned as we'll have a little bit of a course tour with founder and president George Kelly. Hi, welcome to Stevenson Ranch. I'm Lad Bruner, the general manager here. And I'd like to take a moment to tell you why I think this place is so special, and that's our employees. Being in a small town here, we have a big advantage, and that's that we are able to attract a little bit kind of different employee here that doesn't mind taking the time to give you a warm smile to make sure that we're doing everything possible to make sure you have a great experience here. One of the awards that I'm the most proud of here is a few years back we were ranked number one in the nation by the National Golf Foundation for customer service and satisfaction. One of the amenities that we have here at Stevenson Ranch are our overnight accommodations. We call them our cottages. They're ideal for groups of 16 all the way up to 40. They're in a private setting on our property and the folks that stay overnight with us absolutely love them. In addition to our cottages we also have our meeting room facility which is next to our pool area. This is the perfect place that our groups can rent out during the evening time as we have a flat screen television. It's also ideal for our local businesses. So let's check in with our owner and founder George Kelly on the driving range. Greetings. Welcome to Stevenson Ranch. I'm George Kelly, the founder of Stevenson Ranch, the guy with a harebrained idea to build a golf course near the epicenter of nowhere. Well, we kind of embrace that idea out here. When you come out to Stevenson Ranch, you have an opportunity to play world-class golf, really unwind, and have great fun at the same time. Uh, we're just going to hit a couple chips and putts before we take off, and uh, look forward to showing you around. One of the things we're most proud of here at Stevenson Ranch are our greens. The greens are uh, about as pure as you'll ever find anywhere. Our company, Greenway Golf, that manages Stevenson Ranch is proving to the world that it's a fallacy that you ma can't maintain bent grass indefinitely. These greens are 13 years old and they're still 100% bent grass and they roll as fine as any surface you'll ever play on anywhere. And we're really proud of that. As a co-designer of Stevenson Ranch, one of the things I'm most proud of are the short par fours that we have out here. There are three great short par fours, and this is one of them, the Alps number 14. The reason I like this hole so much is the, uh, the design is classic risk reward. If you keep it to the left of the pot bunker out there, you have an unobstructed pitch into the green. If you hit to the fat part of the fairway, you have a blind shot. That should be pretty good right there. It's just left of the pot bunker. This, this tee shot turned out perfectly. It's just left of the pot bunker. Now I've got a completely unobstructed pitch into the green about 75 yards away. Oh, by the way, if you heard that music in the background, it's one of the cool things that we do out here at Stevenson. We provide uh, speakers and iPods for people that want to have music while they're playing around the golf. It's a little different, but it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it when I'm out playing. Not bad, about 20 feet right of the hole. These greens are so pure, the biggest challenge you've got is, is trying to figure out the break. So if you get the break right, you should be able to make a lot of putts out here. So 13 years later, the subtleties, I'm still trying to figure out how these putts break. Figured that one out pretty well. One of the things that we're noted for at Stevenson Ranch are the finishing holes. The last four holes are as good of finishing holes as you'll find anywhere, culminated with this 18th hole, which is a classic risk reward. There's a tremendous amount of shot value on this hole. 18 here, this is a par five hole. It's a dog leg left. You got water on your, on your tee shot. If you challenge the water on your first shot, it makes a hole a lot shorter and provides you with a much easier second into the green.
Okay, here I am on my second shot on 18. He says, I'm kind of in the go, no go zone where I have to make a decision whether I'm not going to cross the ditch in two or lay up on to the right side. I always like to try and knock it across in two because it's a much easier pitch shot into the green, especially with a back right pin like we have today. Let's see what happens. Oh, I hit that one a little too far right. I don't think that's going to get across the ditch. Okay, so I hit that second shot a little bit right, you know, and this is, I'm uh, down in this ditch that traverses the green. This is not a good spot. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, this is one of our, uh, this is one of our colored balls that uh, we put out here for fun. This is, uh, you return it to the golf shop. I think this is a, a free shirt or a hat in the golf shop or something like that. It's pretty cool. Not too many golf courses do that, but we do this out here. Uh, leave it to me to find this ball. Still haven't found my play ball though. Okay, it looks like I gotta take a drop. I couldn't find my ball here, so I've got about 85 yards in to that back right pin. Wow, that's pretty good. That's about three feet. I'd be able to make that. I can make a par. Before I hit this last putt, I just want to say I'm really excited about the new relationship we have with AmateurGolf.com. We've had the California Mid-Am out here for many years, and now we've uh, forged a relationship as the home course of AmateurGolf.com, and I really look forward to that. So let me see if I can make this putt to salvage a decent round. Oh, well. Can't make them all. Finish with a bogey, but at least there's a cold beer waiting for me when I get in. Hey girls, how we doing? Oh God, it was tough out there today, but I'm sure it's going to get better here in a minute, right, Ashley? It's all right. Here's your Sierra. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers, George. Cheers, Cheers, girls. This is the kind of warm hospitality you can expect after a round of golf at Stevenson Ranch. What could be better than this, huh? Feeling better already? Ah, perfect. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 